Tyler. It's been a grueling run. Back to some good form. A lot of stuff yeah. this year, but a top three finish. I mean, the smile on your face says it all. Good play this week. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. It's It's been hard. It's been a long road, and I've been working hard, and you never know when the results are going to come, and it's happy to happy to see see it come. What came together this week to allow you to play your best golf in a while? Um... I think it's been coming together the last few weeks. Phoenix, I actually played really well, and I had one of my worst putting weeks ever. Um, and then last week, I finished 33rd. With going around Riviera is a, is a hard golf course, so I felt like I saw some good signs last week, and this week it was just all there. So, First top 10 since your win at yeah. RSM. So, I mean, yeah. I know that there's a lot of emotions are going to come out of just sort yeah. of what that grind has sort of been like. I mean, just being able to get back out here on tour this year and have the full status to be able to do it. What do you yeah. lean on in moments like that, knowing that you have this type of golf in you? Um, a lot of it's just, just trying to find that belief. Um, it's hard to to figure out, it. do the results come first and then the belief or the belief in the results? It's, it's like the chicken or the egg. So. Um, I feel like I've been putting in the work and just trust in that process and that I'm working on the right things. Today, let's focus on this actual yeah. round. You had that absolute heater out there. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen on this golf course because no. there are bogeys out there. Walk me through what you were feeling during the round. And I mean, there were moments there you were thinking, hey, if we hold this together, you never know what might happen in this tournament. Yeah, there, there are stretches of really hard golf out there and anything can happen. And I got off to that hot start and I was just trying to plug away and give myself some opportunities. And um, I, I, my goal was to get to 15 because I thought that was going to be close and um, I wasn't really going to look at any boards or anything until I got to 15 because I figured that was going to be hard to get past so um, that was kind of my thing is just keep my head down and keep working hard and hitting good shots and see if I can make some putts. What are you most proud of this week that you're really going to carry forward? It could be part of your game, it could be how you carried yourself out there, it could be a strategy. Like, what do you think about this week that really springboards forward for you? Um, just that I hung in there all week, you know, everything that I've been doing, you know, stayed with me the whole week. It wasn't like I had, you know, one or two good rounds. It was, it was there all week and, um, stayed consistent, hit a lot of good shots, hit a lot of really nice putts and, um, just keep doing what I'm doing and, and not stop here. Better to see the putts fall in last night than the threes, not last night for your Oilers and Mackey. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That was hard to watch, but, um, but you never know. We'll see what happens in the tournament. Great point. Congratulations. Yeah. Welcome back to the top of the land. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Tyson. Yeah. Appreciate it.